Hello there, welcome back to day 12 of Firestar. The scene that my sister Rachel's going to be drawing today is of Firestar snapping at Rainwhisker and Mousefur for suggesting that they get a new deputy. Since Graystripe has been catnapped by the two lakes and has now been missing for quite a while. I'll read this scene to you now. It's on pages 138 through 139 of Dawn. Firestar padded across the rock to stand beside the young warrior. We need to send out more hunting patrols. He meowed. We're under no threat from the other clans now. River Clan has more food than we do. They have no need to attack. He stared around the gaunt, hungry cats. We can devote all of our patrols to hunting from now on. We'll find enough food in the forest until it's time to leave. Yes, Dust Pelt, we will leave. I will visit River Clan and Shadow Clan and try to persuade them once more. Relief washed over Leaf Paws. The cats began to gnaw their acceptance, and then her heart lurched as Mouse first stepped forward. But what about Graystripe? When Firestar flinched, she went on. Whether he's coming back or not, we need to find another deputy for as long as he's not here. Someone to carry out his duties. Yes, Despelt agreed. You haven't named anyone yet. He glanced at Brambleclaw. You should choose someone young. Some cat StarClan clearly approves of. Leafpaw looked around. Ashfur, Whitepaw, Frostfur, and Cloudtail were staring at Brambleclaw. Even Thornclaw seemed to be watching the young cat, as though he might be the one to fill Graystrip's paw prints. Only Mousefur and Rainwhisker were looking elsewhere. Brackenfur has enough experience, Mousefur suggested. He's young and strong, has earned his warrior name many times over. Rainwhisker nodded. Brackenfur would make a good deputy. Why are you talking like this? Graystripe's not dead. Firestar spat. He's still our deputy. The bristling fur along his spine warned the other cats not to argue. He shook himself and blinked, calming down. But you're right. Someone must carry out Graystripe's duties. So until he returns, the senior warriors shall share them. He glanced at Brackenfur. You shall organize new hunting patrols. Firestar refuses to accept that Graystripe isn't coming back. And he doesn't want to fill the position of deputy in case he does return. He doesn't want Graystripe to come back and see the Firestars replaced him. Yet, that is what happens. But it really can't be avoided. Thunderclan goes without an official deputy for several books. And when Graystripe does find his way back, Brambleclaw has been deputy for a while and knows the clan and the new territory best. I think it makes more sense for a younger cat like Brambleclaw to be deputy, because Graystripe is the same age as Firestar. I still have trouble imagining how cats with one life outlive cats with nine lives to become leader. It doesn't make sense to me. You'd think more lives would equal a longer lifespan. Wouldn't you think so? I, I, I think so. So yeah, Brambleclaw eventually becomes the new deputy and becomes leader in turn after Firestar, ensuring his line of leaders. Oakstar was leader of ThunderClan, and his son Pinestar was leader, and his son Tigerstar was leader of ShadowClan, and his son, Bramblestar, is again leader of ThunderClan. We already know that Alderheart is a medicine cat, so it's all up to you now, Sparkpelt. Make us proud, be the first female leader in this line. Come on, Sparkpelt. Can I hear it for Sparkpelt, please, in the comments below? Quite the line of succession, am I right? It's only gonna be broken if Sparkpelt doesn't get her crap together. Anyways, I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what you think of Firestar trying to preserve Graystripe's spot as deputy for as long as possible. I mean, usually, even if the deputy died really tragically, they have to pick a new one by that night, by Moon High. So I think Firestar was a little crazy by waiting several books to pick a new one. Maybe this is why you shouldn't have your friends be deputy, so you won't be so sad when they go missing or die. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go and check out the video over on the side of my last speed paint. And click that subscribe button so you can always be notified when I make my next video. Alright guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Bye bye